time to move on. Yeah, uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's a new job for me, really. Uh, even though I've been there eight years, I'm doing something different. Almost everyone in the program is doing something new, different, and that breeds excitement. And we're pretty excited about what's going on down there with everything. And, uh, you know, we've got a bunch of new coaches that have been working out tremendously. Um, and uh, even the players are really now assuming new roles and, and moving up the ranks and, and uh, showing some leadership qualities that we really need to have. You're, uh having a background based in this, this conference, uh, this area, and, and I'm sure that gives you a comfort level that you know the challenges, you know, particularly the recruiting departments in the state and, and what it will take to attract the top players to have. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I played and coached uh, since the late 70s uh, till now, one form or another here. Um, so there is a, a level of comfort. All the venues that you need to go in to win, I have at one time or another done. So that experience level, you've experienced it. You can share that with your guys, and they feel, you know, confident in, in going uh, going behind you into a place, especially on the road where you, you need to win. Uh, and the recruiting version of it, um, you know, we know what works at Concord very well for us. We try to find that kind of guy that's going to adjust to the way we do things to that area of the country and, um, you know, be able to perform athletically at the level that this league has grown to. How do you put your own spin on the program but yet not disrupt the success that you've well, that, had? That is the, that's the artwork of this whole operation. Um, what you do is go back and look and see what you did right, what you did wrong. And uh, the things that were right, you keep the same. Things that could be better, you improve. And I think that um, we talk about being more physical. That was part of what we wanted to do. And I think we were a very talent-based, a lot of timing. You know, we did a lot of our practices were very hard, uh, but they weren't necessarily football physical. And that's uh, we've gone back to that to add to the, the spice of what we're doing. And that's, that's the number one thing for us, I think, is to get back to that mode where we're just playing a more physical brand of football. A couple of uh, player things we hear to wrap up. Talk to me about Ryan Novak. What makes him so good and how much better? I mean, he's already become one of the top quarterbacks in this league and in the region. And how much better can he be? Well, uh, <clears throat> I think that his dad's a coach, uh, and he has grown up in that culture. He understands the, you know, the relevance of that position, how important it is. And I believe that uh, he has a lot of room to grow. And um, you know, I think it's maturity. I think it's with leadership um, that our team is hungry for it right now. They, they need and want to be led, and he has those capabilities to do it. So it's the right guy you know, at the right time. And um, he's won a lot of football games. Outside of all the other statistics, that's the thing that, that jumps out at me, is that he finds a way to win. And um, he's been a program player. He's been a coach's you know, player uh, where – he, he knows what, what has to be done and goes gets it gets it that way. And I think he brings a lot of players along with him and buying into what we're doing right along with him. Finally, uh, the loss of Capitol Jones, how does that or does it change your game plan or your balance on that? Uh, he's you know, he's he's really a once in a generation running back for a coach. It, it, you, you know, he's he was uh, the nicest kid. He was the fastest kid. He was <laughs> the best, you know, running back that you could have. He was he was good in every category. Um, it makes us a little different football team. But uh, the way that we're set up offensively now is, is we're diverse. We feel like we can feature any position we want to feature on the field. I think the tight ends will have a big impact for us early based on the fact that that's a extension of the run game. Um, you know, and I think we're going to be running back by committee this year. And that means that, you know, we've got some young people that are going to have to carry us and, and a couple of the old hats uh, that have been around a while, you know, to come in early and, and get it done with that. But... Yeah, there's no, there's no replacing uh, Kelvin on. Um, even if you found a back that was as good as he was football-wise, I, I don't believe you can find a, a kid that was so uh, neat to hang out with. And um, he was a leader, uh, truly, that the people gravitated to. You know, it wasn't somebody always seeing the back of him because he was moving somewhere. That guy was getting after him. But uh, we'll miss him. And, uh, you know, I, I, I hope he gets employed pretty soon so I can uh, write him a letter and get some uh, alumni money back in the program. <laughs> uh, always thinking ahead. Yeah, absolutely. We finished up? We're good. All right.